Let's start out by cloning our new Vue.js from GitHub so we can start uh, installing it and using this way instead of going from scratch. Now, right now I'm just opening my Visual Studio code and I open my terminal down here and I need to navigate to the correct spot where I need to install or download all these files. So think of this as where you would want to do your view create. Uh, so it creates the folder and puts in all the files. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to navigate to the correct folder right now. I don't think I'm in the right one. So let's see. Yes, uh, I need to go into my work folder here. So navigate to the correct place that you need to uh, have your projects. And right now I can see this seems right to me. Uh, so I know I'm now in the correct library that I want to install it. How we do this is we're going to go to git and this means you will have to have git installed. If that's not installed, you can install it by typing git scm, scm here and going to this channel and just going through this uh, download for Mac or probably say Windows or Linux if you're on that one as well. So have that installed um, or if you don't want to do that, you can do git clone and then you can do the zip file and extract it into the folder as well. But I'm going to use the git clone because it's awesome or more awesome. So this here is, I will link this to the description so you can also grab it here. Otherwise you can just search for this name here uh, or this specific template or write this in totally and then you get to this spot as well. Now I'm going to do clone and that means I'm going to copy this uh, specific URL here and I'm going to use this in my Visual Studio Code. So it's important we get this clone with HTTPS and we go back to our Visual Studio code. And in here we just type git space clone and space again and then we paste in this link and we hit enter. Now if you have installed git this will work. Uh, if you have not installed git you can do this and then you have to zip and extract it or uh, install git of course. Now let's just go into cd what was it called? Uh, Vue.js view js dash and I'm going to use this uh, auto complete by using the tab key to do this. So cd view dash template whatever on the screen. Enter and let's do an ls or der if you're on a PC uh, to make sure the files are here. So now I can see all the files are here but I can't do a npm ser run serve like we usually do here because these are only the files for Vue.js. We also need the node, uh, the node.js backend part that controls the virtual server. So for this to work, we do npm install and it should start installing all these thing, things here. If I go back to git, and you can see if you scroll down a little bit, it actually also says, says what you need to do, says, says, whatever. Uh, once you git clone, you need to do an npm install. And once this is done, you're going to go into npm run serve. And again, it's really important that you are in the library in here before you do an npm install. So if we follow this now, the next part we need to do is npm run serve. So let's do this npm run serve. Hopefully this will boot up with no errors. Uh, if you have errors, you need to go back and see where you uh, did a whoopsie and fix that one. Uh, so let's wait for this. It should take a few more seconds and then we can boot it up hopefully. Uh, let's wait a little bit more, 60%. There we go. So no errors. And if I control click, I'm just going to remove this up here. I'm back to having this working again. So this is how we download or clone a repository down. That's view and installing node npm into the, on top of this as well. You can do if you find somebody else's, uh, not mine, somebody else's, you say, oh, this is cool, man, uh, or girl. Uh, you can go and do the same thing here. So follow their inscription, description down in the readme files, clone it and then go into a library and click or type in npm install and then your golden should be golden and ready to use whatever they created for you as well. So awesome. Hopefully that worked.